We're going to play Double Jeopardy right now. The categories are four-letter words, U.S. history, literature, TV trivia, Colonial America, and Hemingway. 500 to 2,500 points for this round are the values, and let's see. And it's Karen who's selecting first. For 500 points, the answer is... A small shrub, or Reagan's successor. What is Bush? Four other words for a thousand. For one thousand points, the answer is... A chamber for the burial of the dead. Wendy. She doesn't know. Incorrect. Michael. He doesn't know. Karen, the last second. Yep, she got it right. It's a tomb. For 500 points, the answer is... The first permanent English settlement in America. Jamestown. For 500 points, the answer is... His fatherly nickname. Papa. Literature for 500. For 500 points, the answer is... She found things curiouser and curiouser in Wonderland. Who is Alice? Four other words for 1,500, for 1, please. For 1,500 points, the answer is... An iron hook used to land large fish, or a climbing hook used by telephone linemen. Ugh. I think I know this. Incorrect. What is a pole? No! I'm at minus 1500. Rough game. A gaff! Oh, I can't seem to stay away from the negative points here. Points, the answer is... Foie gras in France, or chopped liver at Aunt Esther's. For 1,000 points, the answer is... In 1671, Milton wrote Paradise Regained, a sequel to this. Oh, and I think I know that one. Paradise Lost. Yeah, I knew that one, but I got locked out. For 500 points, the answer is... 
1731, he founded America's first circulating library. Wendy. Benjamin Franklin. Though it was the first profitable cash crop grown in the colonies, our government now subsidizes it. Tobacco. For 1,000 points, the answer is... Reconstruction was the 13-year period following this. Wendy. Well, she doesn't know. Incorrect. She's at minus 2400. Michael. He doesn't know. So he's in the hole. Incorrect. Leaving Karen as the only one with points. The Civil War. from Latin meaning, let it stand. It cancels an edit. Wendy. Stet. And Wendy's out of the hole of 100 points. TV trivia for 500. For 500 points, the answer is... Arnold Zenker replaced this trusted CBS newsman during a 13-day union strike in 1967. Wendy. Walter Cronkite. And that's just the way it is. Correct. I'll put Wendy at 600. For 1,000 points, the answer is... Jean Jean, the dancing machine, was among the talent on this Chuck Barris series. Uh, what is the gong show? Trivia for fifteen hundred. For one thousand five hundred points, the answer is answer. Daily double. I just want to get out of the hole. Bubbles in the wine was the appropriate title of his theme song. I don't know. No, 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 no. Not, not 227. I don't know. Incorrect. So I'm gonna stay in the hole. Lawrence Welk. Oh! For 2,000 points, the answer is... When Ken Berry took over the lead in the Andy Griffith, the Andy Griffith show was renamed this. Karen. <laughs> Mayberry RFD. Karen's okay, at 4,800. For 2,500 points, the answer is... In the spring of 1950, Arthur Godfrey gave TV lessons on playing this instrument. Michael. He doesn't know. 
incorrect. Michael's at minus 2,900. Wendy. She doesn't know either. Incorrect. And Karen's the only one with points. The ukulele. The last name of the only U.S. civilians ever executed in America for espionage, Michael. Rosenberg. Number of days American hostages were held in Tehran. Four hundred and forty four. For one thousand points, the answer is Hemingway novel that became the movie in which Bogey met Bacall. Michael? He doesn't know. I want to say the Maltese Falcon, but I don't know if that's correct. Wendy. She doesn't know. To have and have not. Okay, so I would have been wrong. For 1,500 points, the answer is... According to Burns, their best laid schemes gang after glee. Mice and men. Oh. I've read that book. Answer! Daily Double! Well, Wendy's gotta go for 2500. Language in which Browning's sonnets from the Portuguese was originally written. English. Correct. And she's out of the hole? For 2500 points, the answer is. He gave us his cockeyed world in my world and welcome to it. Correct response, who is James Ferber? James Ferber. Continue, Wendy. For 2,500 points, the answer is... A structure of glass and iron, it held the first U.S. World's Fair in 1853. Wendy. Crystal Palace. Alright, Wendy's at 3,600. Six clues left on the board. Colonial America for 15. points, the answer is... Cajun derives from the name of this French colony in eastern Canada. Wendy. She doesn't know. We've given her the lead by 300 points. Mm. 
my sh... This clue mentions Eastern Canada, but I don't know the correct response. Acadia. Oh, yes. Shame on me. For 1,500 points, the answer is... A granddaughter who tried her best in personal best. Muriel Hemingway. Four clues left. For 2,000 points, the answer is... King James I gave this title to George Calvert, founder of Maryland. Michael. Lord Baltimore. Alright, he's out on the hole. For 2,500 points, the answer is... Only one of the 13 colonies established by Swedes. Wendy. Delaware. Hemingway's last home was in Ketchum in this state. Wendy. She doesn't know. Incorrect. But she's going to be around for Final Jeopardy. Anyway, because even if she were to get the last one wrong, she would only drop to a hundred. Idaho. Now, as for me, I have to get this last one right if I want to make it to Final Jeopardy. For 2,500 points, the answer is... Wartime occupation he shared with his hero in Farewell to Arms. Well, I do need to try and get out of the hole, so hopefully I'll be right with what is general. And I'm not going to be around for Final Jeopardy. I finished with minus 4,000. But either way, Daniel is going to get $5,000 from this game, since that's uh, the runner-up prize here in the quarterfinals. Driving an ambulance was what we needed. Let's play Final Jeopardy. Uh, that was a tough game. And our category for Final Jeopardy is World History. Well, even with me not playing Final Jeopardy, I know that they're uh, all, all three of them are going to go all in. So, if all three of them get this wrong, then this is going to be interesting. Okay, it's not showing the clue, but Michael got it right. He's at 2,200. Wendy got it right. She's at 5,200. And Karen got it right. She wins the game. And we'll see you for the next segment.